Hi again. Before I begin uh, the stories on Twas Here and Gone, uh, maybe a little helpful if I explain some of the Irish terms and other expressions uh, and idioms that are used in the book. First of all, there's the word pram. Uh, the term used to describe a baby carriage is a shortened term of the word perambulator. And then there's the word coupons. What sort of coupons? Well, these were ration coupons provided during the war uh, for some time after World War II as well. And then there are the terms copper and peeler. Actually, these terms uh, were slang for police officers. And then there's the word stove. That's called a range today in Canada. Barn brack is Irish bread made on a griddle. And then the word what is to be hit around the head. Wind bushes were basically a type of heather. Uh, the boot of the car uh, is called the trunk in Canada and in the United States. And glider is not something that flies in the sky, but rather a type of homemade go-kart. Cut bank is used uh, when talking about fish and it's a part of the stream where the current has cut back into a sandy bank. And then a jumper is not someone who jumps over a rail but rather a woolen sweater. A knob is similar to a snob, one who uh, thinks of themselves as better than others. And then your gub <laughs> in local Belfast slang is your mouth. Wellies, of course, are rubber Wellington boots which come up to the knee. And the quid in Irish slang uh, means a pound or did mean a pound sterling. The double-decker bus you probably have heard of. It's a red two-story bus with a winding staircase at the rear that leads up to the upper level. And the Troubles? Well, the Troubles was a term used to describe the ongoing fight by the IRA with England to reunite the six northern counties of Ireland as Ulster with the Republic. There was a distinct difference, however, between the old IRA and the provisional IRA, which was more communist, and who were often at loggerheads. But this is another story to be told at another time. Bantry Bay, this is at the southernmost tip of Ireland and it is touched by the Gulf Stream and where you can find palm trees growing as well as other exotic plants. Tommy Steele in my day was a well-known and popular rock and roll singer in those days whose famous quote was, the public is a very fickle thing. <laughs> And the bonnet, well, this is not something you put on your head. This is part of the car. In North America, it's called the hood. And the car boot in Ireland is called the trunk in North America. Grape is a four-pronged metal fork for grabbing the sheaves and hoisting them onto the hay cart. And crack is an Irish word meaning a good talk with stories, gossip and fun. And then a trap. This was a nice little cart with seats on either side and usually pulled by a pony, often used to take the driver and passengers to church on a Sunday, as well as other outings. It was often referred to as the pony and trap. And then a tick man was a person who sold items on credit and uh, Sorry, and then collected payments each week, ticking off the amount paid. And so hence the nickname Tickman. A synthetic twister was a person who twisted three stands of nylon or other synthetic materials from three bobbins into one. It was a job in a mill and to me felt like a jail sentence. I worked three large machines at once and believe me, you had to move fast and watch carefully or you would be in trouble with the supervisor. The women, however, seemed to be able to do this with no problem at all. But it was hard work. 
It was noisy and it was claustrophobic. Now I commend anyone who was able to stick it out. I lasted all of three months. The drapery business was a business which sold clothing, bedding and linens, as well as window drapes, etc. So those are some of the terms that will come up in this story.